Star of the day, star of the day, it is the star of the day. Star of the day, star of the day, it is the star of the day. Star of the day, star of the day, it is the star of the day. Star of the day, star of the day, it is the star of the day. Stat of the Day is brought to you by ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. As we reach the end of June, Shohei Otani has put together this month. He has an 11-game hit streak, a career-high 8-RBI day against Kansas City, a career-high 13 strikeouts against Kansas City. He hit the hardest home run of his career at 118 miles per hour, and he is currently in the midst of of 21 and two-thirds consecutive innings without allowing a run. Hmm. That's very impressive. Yeah, they're four games under 500. It's not his fault, though. How do you have Otani like, and Mike Trout in your four games under it, four? It's unbelievable. It's, it's crazy, it's right? staggering mismanagement yes. from the Los Angeles really, Angels. <laughs> it has to be the worst Thank organization. You. It has to be the worst organization in sports, right? It has to be. I, I, I legit... I'm staggered. Like that guy's supposed to be the greatest baseball player of all time, and this guy's supposed to be the next greatest bear player of all time. Yes. Uh, what was it last night? They combined for like four of six and like three home runs, or whatever, and they lost <laughs> eleven to How four. How are you not able to build around that? And I, I got to find the exact. And by that, I mean not one but two generational baseball players. I mean. Otani might be a multiple generational player. Yes. We've never, we haven't seen anything like this since Babe Ruth. This is more than an indictment on baseball, though. Like, it's, it's, the, it takes more than two guys to win in baseball. Like, obviously, if in the NBA, if you had two guys no, like no. this, they'd be better. I agree with you. The randomness of baseball, I get it. You're but crushing the Angels here. Don't crush show. Like, I'm if not you're holding I'm this not against even, Mike Trout. No, that's I'm not. Wrong. I'm not crushing Trout. I'm, I'm not. What I'm saying is you have two, not one, two generational players. And you can't build a roster around that? Are so, you kidding me? That's fair. Yeah. So the Angels a couple of nights ago, Trout hit a home run, and Otani was 3-3 three three with a home run, two doubles, and a walk. The Angels lost the game 11-4. It's amazing. And it's not like the Angels are cheap either. Their payroll is $190 million. Yeah. I know. Who are they paying? Well, that, was it Rendon was the guy that they paid? Who has, Rendon who has, who has, was, yeah, Rendon really hurt. Like They got him off... I'm not certain if it was an MVP season. They won the World Series. He won the World Series with the Nats that year and then signed the big free agent deal and was played like 120 games over three seasons. Like, And they spent a lot of money there. But they're in a big enough market, Witty, with two great players where they should be able to overcome that. You know, it's baseball. Yeah. You have those two in the middle of your lineup and it's, one pitching every fifth day. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. It's it's actually, it has to be, this should be a much bigger story. How bad the Angels organization is. I guess because they don't play in New York or something. But why isn't, why isn't on like the A block of first take, God, the Angels are horrific, aren't they? What is wrong with them? I don't think you would find a team anywhere in baseball. Anywhere in sports. Anywhere in Where they any have two players yes. like that. And they're lousy. And not just lousy this year. They're always lousy. Yeah. For me, the only comparison is like PSG and soccer, where they currently have Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar, yeah. and no one thinks they can win the Champions League right. because that team is so poorly put together. But in American professional sports, I don't think you can come up. Maybe like the Edmonton Oilers, but they just got to a conference finals with the Lakers uh, with, with McDavid. Yeah, I, yeah, LeBron, Anthony Davis, and That's Russell a good Westbrook. Show. Well, right. Russell Westbrook. I mean. But you know, in terms of names, but these yeah. are two generational guys in their prime, like right in the yeah. middle of their prime. <laughs> yeah, that are that are performing at, like at least Anthony Davis is an injury, right? right. And they Shai want a title. Shohei Otani plays every day. Mike right. Trout plays every day, and they stink. So the Padres, who were terrible forever. So I Machado during one offseason, and they got to Tease. Yeah. And they've been good ever since. Yeah. Like, they built around that, I mean. And the Angels have these two guys. How do you have, like, luck into one far? They also have Noah Syndergaard. Right, yeah, you Syndergaard. luck into a third guy. Yeah, how do you not right. luck into just, like, decent players all <laughs> around them? Has Syndergaard been good for them? I no. have no idea. No. Thor? 
<laughs> you just wanted to get the Thor. You, you, don't, you don't know what his baseball reference page is. I'm not even like. certain he's pitched. Stu Gatz, on the subject of baseball, yes. yesterday you delivered quite the rant about Freddie Freeman. I did, yeah. And there have been several developments since. Mm -hmm. So Doug Gottlieb of Fox Sports Radio has since tweeted yeah. that apparently the Dodgers, or that Freddie Freeman's agent never presented Freddie Freeman with the final offer from the Braves. And that's why he fired him. The agency that this agent works for has vociferously denied those allegations, saying that, you know, they're... You could have just said denied, right? Why, you know, vociferously. Right. What, okay. what's, you know, what does that mean? Strongly strong, denied? Yeah. Strongly right. denied, It's not yeah. just a regular denial. It's right. like... Do you it's, object? No, I strongly object. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Got it. I okay. strenuously object. Oh, okay. Thank you. Fine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Finding myself so now. There, there is now... The, 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 the waters have been muddied on what actually has happened here. Freddie Freeman, or I don't know, Doug Gottlieb is saying so that just Freddie so Freeman wasn't presented the final offer from the Braves, thought that they, he only had an offer from the Dodgers, and so he took the offer from the Dodgers, but apparently there was an offer, but it, there might not have been an offer because the agency has denied that. Strongly. So the agency is saying they, they did indeed get an offer from the Braves, they presented said offer to Freddie Freeman, uh -huh. and they have proof. They have receipts. Yeah, so the statement, right. it says here, Doug Gottlieb tweeted a wholly inaccurate characterization of our negotiations with the Atlanta Braves on behalf of Freddie Freeman. We are immediately evaluating all legal options to address mm. the reckless publication of inaccurate information. Mm. Hate to break into Excel Sports, but there's no legal ramifications for tweeting something. Mm. No? He's reporting something. Well, you can tweet anything? I mean, and not and face a lie. I don't, I don't even know. But he's reporting something that is damning to the agency. Yeah. There, he's a credible guy there, reporting something. On I think so. No, but but like, if, it's not just like, hey, you're dumb. It's like, hey, you basically acted unethically with yeah. your client. Correct. Which uh, is damaging to their. I mean, they go to, to a court and say, look, this is damaging to our business, our ability to not only retain our client, which we didn't, but also to attract other clients, will be known as the agency that hides offers from from players. This is a credible media member who is yes. saying our agency didn't do good by our client. Yeah, this, this and that might affect future business with other clients. Right, of course. I think I I I don't know. I. I'm not sure. I find it hard to believe the agency did not present Freddie Freeman with his contract Me offer too. from the Braves. And Me I too. find it even more difficult to believe that no one from the Braves ever said, hey, we made an offer to your agency. And Freddie Freeman said, hey, I don't want to see it. I mean, there, there's no way. Freddie Freeman knew his options. He chose the Dodgers. He went back to Atlanta, got a couple of standing ovations and said what he had to say. And did whatever he thought was the right thing to do, which I think was a horrible thing to do. Because I don't believe that agency did Is it that. Horrible. Uh, to fire the agent, you mean? For fire the well, I mean, but we don't no, know why we didn't know we don't know why he fired the, the agent. agency's job is to get offers. It is. But what, why did he fire the agent? I think that's the big thing. It's like okay, he didn't fire them because they hid an offer. That's not true. So, so why did he fire so, them? So the way the story, the way I understand it is, they signed the agency was dragging its feet in terms of negotiations, uh -huh. and so the Braves then signed Matt Olson because they felt like they weren't getting Freddie Freeman back, and right. once they signed Matt Olson. The door had closed in Atlanta for Freddie Freeman. And maybe Freddie's upset about that, but Freddie could have taken the offer that he got <coughs> from the Atlanta Braves and never let it get to that point. You all right there? <coughs> Strong. Should I put a mask on? Or? It was vociferous. It was. Uh, a mask. The, maybe that's why, though. Maybe that's why he... Uh, ah, bro. Oh, my God. Cheap masks. I mean... <laughs> No, I, I do. I find it hard to believe that Freddie Freeman did not know that he had an may offer from the Atlanta Braves. Maybe that's why he fired them, that they dragged their feet. Listen, and as a result, the Braves basically took themselves out of it. How about enough with Freddie Freeman? Yeah, yeah $160 million. You told everyone at some point that going home wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. He's from L.A. The Dodgers won a World Series a year ago. He's playing on the best team in baseball with the most money in baseball. Like, enough. Like you, I, like, look, your agent's job is to get you as many offers, as many good offers as possible. Well, you didn't get them a good offer, but you in have time, final right? say. Well, in time, in time, yes. It's. I imagine they presented Freddie with his offer. The agent was like, "Well, we got the Dodgers over here." Right. They said, "Okay, enough. We're going with Matt Olson before we don't get either of these guys." 
we were running the risk here of not getting Olsen, a guy we would get to replace Freddie Freeman, and we're running the risk of not re-signing Freddie Freeman. Therefore, we're just going to take Olsen because we know Olsen wants to be here. Let, but if Freddie Freeman wanted to remain Atlanta, uh, an Atlanta Brave, all Freddie Freeman had to do was say, hey, I want to stay here, figure it out, figure it out now. You he know, never said it. You know okay? what I think is weird? You know what I think is weird, Sugats, in this whole thing? What's that? Is that Freddie Freeman, when did he sign, right? When did he sign with the Dodgers? I'm not certain of the exact. The, I mean, th this off season. Yes, this off. Yeah. But when? Oh, like date? I don't know. Like roughly, give me, give me a, give me a rough. Right, like March 18th is the new story I have here. Freddie Freeman signs with Dodgers. March yeah. 18th. Mm -hmm. April 18th, May 18th, June 18th. Three months and change. Goes to go play at Atlanta for the first time. Does his dog and pony show at the press conference, fires his agent. It took you three and a half months to figure that out? Yep. Wouldn't that have happened right at the moment? Correct. Why did it take this long? He went back to Atlanta for the first time since there he left go. Atlanta, and the fans gave him standing ovations and showered him with love. Yep. You, you want to do it, or, or should I, Stugatz, so double down? Let's double down on this fraud. This fraud, Freddie Freeman. <laughs> Froddy Freeman. <laughs> Freddie Fraudman. Froddy Fraudman. I thought we were going after Gottlieb. No. <laughs> That's the exit right I there. I wanted to. That's, that's, 